This is the range country, where the pounding hooves of untamed horses still thunder over mountains, meadows, and canyons. Every herd has its own leader, but there is only one fury. Fury, king of the wild stallions. And here in the wild west of today, hard-riding men still battle the open range for a living. Men like Jim Newton, owner of the Broken Wheel Ranch, and Pete, his top hand, who says he cut his teeth on a branding iron. Fury! Fury! Wild as Fury is, that's the one human voice he's learned to love and obey. The voice of the boy who once saved his life, Jim Newton's boy, Joey. Here's a mutual trust and affection that everyone can understand. Especially a woman like Helen Watkins, Joey's school teacher and unfailing champion. Kneel down, let me get on you. And there they are together, a great wild horse and the only person on earth who can ride him, Joey and Fury. Is anything wrong, David? Oh, hello, dear. How's the baby? She's asleep in the trailer. Why did we stop? Hmm? Oh, just checking to find the nearest town of a trailer camp. Look, capital city, 52 miles. We can make it. Uh, dear, uh, just once on this trip, uh, uh, couldn't we stop over somewhere before it gets dark just once? Honey, how are we going to make any time? Well, this is a vacation, not an endurance contest. Hey, Twin Forks, 25 miles. Can we at least drive there tonight? You're always making a deal. All right, Twin Forks, and not a foot further. Hey, what's your hurry? I'd better look in on the baby. Oh, she's all right. Besides, we haven't seen each other all day. Come on, hop in. All right, let me lock up. Okay. When was the baby discovered missing? About 10 minutes ago. The child's parents just called in from Twin Forks. They think she might have gotten out of the trailer in this vicinity. And I'm asking every rancher in the county to help in the search. Pete and I will meet you right away. Getting together a search party. There's a baby lost somewhere out near Dry Canyon. A baby? Gosh, we just passed by there on our way home from school. Can we go with you, Jim? No, not this time, boys. You boys better get washed up and have your supper. There's some cold meat loaf in the icebox. We'll see you later. Be sure you stay inside till we get back. Gee whiz. Gosh. It's like I told you. Kids can never go looking for adventure. New Jersey is Trenton. What is the biggest city? Hey, Joey. Huh? What's the biggest city in New Jersey? You'd better know it by tomorrow, because Miss Helen is going to ask you. Who cares? That little baby alone out in that canyon? I'd be scared to be alone out there, and I'm grown up. Don't bother unsaddling them. We'll be going right out again. It's Jim and Pete. They're back. Did you find the baby yet? No, I'm afraid not, Joey. You kids have school tomorrow. It's time you were in bed. Now look, Pete and I are going out again right away, and we'll probably be out all night. So when you get up in the morning, just get your breakfast and go on to school, huh? Okay, Jim. I'll have Pete leave your lunchboxes on the kitchen table. 
Good night, Mr. Newton. Good night, boys. Joey, we'll find the baby. Kids okay? Yeah, I just sent him to bed. I fed the horses. You reckon we got time to get some deep before we go out looking again? No, I'm afraid not, Pete. Every minute that baby's alone out there, she's in more danger. What are we waiting for? school. Yeah, good. And as long as we're getting up so early, how about going to sleep now? Huh? Okay. And hope if you can only give us some idea of where you stopped. It all looks so different at night. Well, we'll just have to keep combing the area and hope we're guessing right. All right, Freddy, move on out. My baby out there in the dark. <laughs> They're doing all they can, honey. They're doing all they can. Attention all you men on the searching party. We still have no information on where the trailer stopped. So spread out at intervals of 500 yards and cover both sides of the highway. All right, men, get started. Why don't you two get some rest? I'll get word to you since we have some news. Speed and I'll keep looking. coming up, so don't wander too far. Yes, sir. Come on, Gary. So long. So long. I don't like the looks of this weather, Pete. Yeah, wind's coming in from the northeast. That ain't exactly good news. No. That child better be found, and soon. We better get some grub in our gizzards. The coffee will do. You go in and make it, and I'll get some fresh horses. Start the search from here. Half of you on one side and half on the other. Spread out about a half a mile apart. And if you come across anything, fire two shots in the air. And uh, work as fast as you can, men. 
Sheriff, find my baby, please. They'll find her, dear. Dr. Stanhope, why don't you take your wife over to my ranch and keep her wait for us there? But I want to help in the search. We know every inch of this country, Mr. Stanhope. If your baby's out here, we'll find her. I think it'd be better if you stayed with your wife. All right, if you say so. Fine. My ranch is the Broken Wheel. It's down the road about four miles. You'll see the sign on the right. The door is always open, so just go on in and make yourselves at home. Thank you. We'll do everything we can, Mr. Stanhope. She has a lot of courage. Yes, she has, Jim. And she's gonna need it. I don't like the looks of this weather. I don't like it at all. the last time we were up here. Still got some kerosene in it. Got any matches? They're in my saddlebag. I'll get them. Don't cry now. Bring the lunchbox while you're at it. Bet the baby's hungry. You stay here, Fury. I'll be right back and then we'll go for help. <laughs> you're gonna be all right. Don't cry, baby. There now, baby. There now. There, there. She sure is unhappy. Yeah, that should do it. 
Pretty neat job. I'd better write for help. Okay, but hurry. My baby's dead. I know my baby's dead. Honey, don't, don't. I know my baby's dead. They'll find her, honey, they'll find her. Well? Nothing. They're still looking. Just checking, did you keep Joey home from school today? No, he and Frankie have gone. They left early so they could look for the missing baby before they went to school. Well, they didn't get here. Maybe they're at Frankie's house waiting out the storm. No, I just called Frankie's mother. Oh. Well, thanks for calling, Helen. Why? Goodbye. Joey and Frankie didn't show up at school. leader told us a bar of chalk is the same as a pound of beefsteak. I think the baby would rather have beefsteak. How about giving it a sandwich? No. You take the sandwich. I got it. Milk. Babies love milk. Babies take milk from baby bottles with nipples on the end of them. I got it? You got a pin? On my sweater. This will sterilize it. What are you going to do? I'm going to use a balloon as a baby bottle. Good idea. I wonder if Fury got back to the ranch yet. Long ago. You know how fast Fury runs. Jim will be here any minute now. Yeah. Gosh, Jim should have been here by now. He'll be here. Maybe Fury didn't even go after him. Maybe Fury didn't even hear you holler. I told you, there's nothing to be scared of. Jim will be here. How to be? <laughs> you see anything yet? No, nothing. I'm afraid there's not much more chance. Well, we got to keep looking. Let's go.
sounds like fury. It is. What happened, Fury? Where's Joey? Here, look. It must belong to the Stanhope child. He's hurt bad, Jim. He must have got here on heart alone. Maybe he can lead us to the baby. Fury's in terrible pain. Another step might cripple him for life. It's your decision, Jim. Fury, lead the way. Joey, he's just got a bad gash on his leg. Fury. And Joey, you've got a horse you can be proud of. No words can do justice in describing the unfailing courage and heart shown by this wonderful horse, Fury, in leading the rescuers to the entrapped children. Because of their bravery in finding and caring for the Stanhope baby until help arrived, all this accomplished in the face of overwhelming difficulties, Joseph Newton and Frankie Watts have been awarded the Conway Award for Distinguished Bravery. And here's another award, this check for distinguished service for your 4-H club. Gee, thanks. <laughs> well, boys, how's it feel to be heroes? Great, wonderful. And this is for Fury. <laughs> <laughs> 